reasonably and slowly festing a lantern. May I respectfully, ladies and gentlemen, at this point, invite for his remarks the former governor of Anambra State, His Excellency, Mr. Peter Governor and my dear brother, Professor Charles Saludo, Your Excellency and our own dear mother, we have spoken so well that all we can do today is to go back and reflect on that your wonderful speech. And I thank my dear elder brother for inviting you. Mine is a simple remark which will not take more than two, three minutes. And is to thank you most sincerely for the honor of coming to Nigeria for this wonderful lecture. <laughs> yes, let's see. Yes, let's see my contribution. My little contribution to your speech is that the problem of Africa, problem of Nigeria, rests purely on leadership. It is bad leadership that is the problem of Africa. It has nothing to do with colonialism. We are colonized years ago. Today, it is African leaders that have turned Africa into a giant criminal enterprise. And I'll give you an example. Let me use this university. Let me use this university to give you an example of the problem we face in our country. This university, if you are employed here, you work hard for several years to be a professor. And if you are a professor in this university, your salary is 400000 naira. And if they pay you without spending your money for 30 years, your salary will amount to 144 million, which is not up to what we used to buy a car for a legislator in Nigeria. That is the problem of Nigeria. That is the problem of Nigeria. That is number one. Number two, this university where you are, this university where you are, the overhead they give to the vice chancellor from the federal government of Nigeria is about 10 million naira. So in one year, they will get about 120 million naira. They have, they have five, four, over 500 professors, over 4,000 lecturers, over 40,000 students. They get 10 million naira, 120 million naira MBA. So five of universities like this will get about 600 million naira annually, which if you convert to dollar today, is about 500,000 naira. That is what we use to go to a meeting of United Nations for one week. It's unacceptable. That is the problem of Nigeria. That is the problem of Africa. We can afford to do that with less than 10%. So it's squarely on our destiny. So I thank you for being part of this crusade, I'm sure our governor, every other person, we are part of this crusade. We must dismantle this criminality. That is the only way it can work. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you. Thank you very much, yes.
interlude. Uh, we'll have an interlude of music before His Excellency, our executive board. We'll have a, an interlude of music. I don't do one minute. Hurry up. Interlude of music, one second before we have the final remarks of His Excellency, the Governor of Anambra State. We thank His Excellency, the former Governor of Anambra State. For his speech. Kedufa, you know what time I did? Kedufa, hurry up, hurry up. I have also a button also. Thank you very much. Our theater arts. Thank you. One minute. Thank you. Very resourceful Nigeria. Very resourceful. Hello, hello. I need to go and do na boy go go. I need to fake go. Come on, we are round, we are up. Ablu so funye. Aha, okugo, okugo. Ablu so funye. Tu a fake go. Come on, we are poba. Oh my God, eh, o funye. I need to do na boy go go. Oh man, I need bo. I will not throw fake go. Far man, poor ba. Baba, I need one to let you know go. Uh, hey, Governor Kwanaka, Kwanaka, Governor His Excellency. Uh, hey, Kwanaka, Kwanaka. Oh, it's boy, it's boy. Uh, hey. Thank you, thank you, Kwanaka. Uh, hey. Thank you very much. Dalono, 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 Dalono. Dalono, 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 Dalono. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh -huh. What did you look at? Jaja, what did you look at? Dalono, thank you very much, Dalono. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Dalono, Dalono. Thank you. Eh. Because thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, 
the numero you know the number one citizen of anambra state will talk to us now my request that we all be calm and seated while we listen to mr governor of anambra state professor Special. chukuma charles saludo your excellency, sir. Your excellency. Your excellency. That's your son. That's your son. You can't battle with the law. You cannot. You cannot. You cannot. You cannot. You cannot. Thank you very much. Thank you. Welcome, Your Excellency. Um, 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 um. That's your yeah. son. Your Excellencies, the President, let me start with my brother, the former Governor of Anambra State, Okutendibo. No, no. No. Let me also say, in acknowledgement, Are you there? Uh-huh. Sorry, I'm coming. I'm coming. I will come to you in a moment. Uh, Your Excellency, I want to welcome you to Anambra State. Mine is just a very simple a very very simple task to do the day is far well spent and as we round off i am just here to pass some felicitations no speeches i haven't prepared any i'm so excited to be here and i want to start by thanking and welcoming uh, dear President, former President of Malawi, Anambra State, the light of the nation. Welcome to Anambra State, the light of the nation. And welcome also, today there's quite a coincidence. You, a Pan-Africanist, you've come to Anambra State, the home of Namdi Azikiwe, and the home of Pan-Africanism. I welcome you also because you are a feminist, an African feminist. Welcome to Anambra, where women are in charge. <laughs> you know, I say welcome to Anambra. You know, all over Africa, we talk about the girl child. In Anambra, we talk about the boy child. 97% of our teachers in primary school are women. 89% of our teachers in secondary school are women. Our civil service is about 65% women. And all our government thought and so on, this is the only state that at some point was represented by about two senators, two out of the three senators were women. And this is the only state that has actually produced uh, his deputy, when he was impeached, became the governor of Anambra State. So the first female governor is this state. So I want to welcome you. So as you were speaking, I was nodding. I said, this is Anambra, and I'm glad you are in Anambra talking about us here. Welcome. And um, of course, the vice chancellor, he just informed me. I know he's a lioness, a lion. He's a lion. And where he talked to, where he told me, I think they said the number one university in the Southeast, then I uh, pinched him. I said, Have you forgotten UNN? And then, um, so he then reminded, he then said something that was quite fascinating that Namdi Azikiwe University is now number four. You have overtaken UNN? Well, 
Well, if you are moving that way, no surprise. It's in an Ambra state, so no problem. <laughs> yeah. That's the light of the nation. That's where we are. I on our second. Oh. So, and then to the benefactor of this particular lecture series, Okuzu Nabazigwe. Um, we can't thank you enough. It's like what you do. A trailblazer. Because we're here to celebrate our finest in history. The greatest of all time. The peak of Africa. The man who gave us independence. The man who fought for the liberation of the black man everywhere. He had several write-ups. And I am here today. Now, uh, I told him earlier I was supposed to be out. But I cancelled last night because this event is one which I cannot afford to miss. As a person, I'm one of those who followed Zeke. I describe myself as a neo zikist and a Pan-Africanist. I believe in the immense potentials of this continent called Africa. I am one of those still dreaming that one day we will have the United States of Africa at the second USA. So I believe, and that's the kind of thing our founding fathers, the Julius Nyerere's of this world, the Kwame Nkrumah's, the Namdiazi Kiwes, dreamt about. That's what we have come to celebrate. Nam Zazikiwe wrote many books, one of which is entitled Renaissance Africa. It is still that Renaissance Africa that we are in pursuit of. In my former life as a university professor, I had about 15 books to my credit. One of them is entitled Our Continent, Our Future. And the second, one of them, is can Africa claim the 21st century? And we are taking our base and root back again to the Zikist ideology of Renaissance Africa. One united, livable, and prosperous Africa. And I think that message must not be lost on us. As one nation, we build and forge one united nation. With that, we face the rest of Africa but we must forge one united Africa. And when you leave, I want you to take this message as a former president. I uh, used to serve in the United Nations um, uh, Institute in Geneva. I was a board member for nine years. And former president in Kappa was our chairman. Now the current chairman is the former president of South Africa. And this concept about the global south, the global south, as you mentioned, coming together and forging a common peace. The entire sub-Saharan Africa in economic terms is simply the size of Belgium of 10 million people. And we are split into how many? 48 countries or so. It is the time to go back to the Nkrumah Zikis era. Slogan Africa unite. Africa unite. Because without unity of Africa, with all due respect, all the stuff we talk about, Malawi alone cannot fight the West. Zambia alone cannot fight the West. This alone, but united, we can at least make a dent. So I want to thank you immensely for this gospel that is there to go. Well, I say today is not my day. You know, I have just turned and a few days ago, I became an orphan. My dad died a few days ago, so I'm not yet. This is my first public outing. And uh, so, uh, if you look at me, I'm not in the mood to speak today. Uh, I'm not in the mood to speak today. I'm still mourning. And uh, by the time we finish the morning, then I'll be in the mood to uh, speak. Then for our students... What do you want me to say to you? Uh, 
What do you want? I'm not hearing you. Aha! Oh my God! Thank you immensely. If it a road. Um, now listen to me. You're listening to me. You are not yet aware. And um, because once you've said this, what you just remind me is that as I leave tomorrow, we'll go on inspection. Because that road, if it's a road all the way from Amansi through, if it's a through the student hostels down to Aroma, about 15 kilometers of them was awarded two months ago. We've just awarded the contract. So we are coming there on what? Inspection. But let me tell you, my fellow students, I will give you something more than if it's a road. You will have something more than... How many of you here are from Anambra State? From Anambra State? Are you really sure? Okay. I have good news for you. If you are from Anambra, we'll have a special day when I will unveil a special part in the month of February. Are you hearing me? Oh, are there? Is there any of you going to graduate before February? Yes. Who are those going to graduate? If you are going to graduate before February, then uh, where? Eh? Which one? Aha. Uh -huh. No, no, no. I tell you what. I tell you. Um, our agenda for human capital for our students for our youths we have an agenda for those in primary to junior secondary for public schools we're trying to rebuild our public institutions in a few days time I will be visiting Olumbanasa a community in Anambra West that I understand nobody, no governor has ever been there. These people have been left behind. Our government is for those who are destitute and suffering. And that's why we're going to do if it a road. And for you, the students, we have had a program for the primary school through secondary school, and we haven't finished with the secondary school. We'll still finish up with them early next year. But when I say I unfold a comprehensive agenda for our education and human capital, total human capital program, the date for that, unfolding the entire thing, and we have a special huge program. For those of you, I'm going to Ibarium tomorrow. We have a special program a package that will unfold. Uh, that's palliative for you. <laughs> okay. In February, we are going to get that. I mean, the full program will be unveiled in February. And I will not want to begin to preempt it here. But let me say this. Because you are looking at me, where is that our president? Aha. Uh -huh. President. He said he's not going to give us so. Is there anybody that, he will, that I will give there? Who? Okay. Okay. 
this one is um, ambush. This one is serious ambush now. What we see, be answer. Okay. Um. <laughs> ah. 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 Wait, wait, wait. Who? Eh? What are they? Are you hearing me? Are you saying that we shouldn't give anything here? Okay, because I thought that's what I just wanted to say thank you very much and leave. And then you started. Okay, now <laughs> what are we supposed to do? Okay, thank you. I think what we'll do, um, uh, students, uh, like you said, from here we are supposed to go and take lunch, isn't it? And um, I was told. That that is for those of us um, exco here, but um, at least for the rest who have come for the um, uh, this is our student thing, you can have something to go to Mamangazi's. Um, eh? Aha. Uh -huh. uh, do we do you, you need? Do we have that? Do we want that? If that is what we need, then the SUG. My fellow students, are we there? We have now consulted. Because this is like, a, this is an ambush here. My, but I, I would rather love to really get out there because this is my uh, constituency. This is where I love to, I love to get out there and let's go and eat Nanke Mamangozi. But uh, I was told that the best way to do it is to give something to the FESA, FOSA, FOSA. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Now. Okay. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Fosa President. <laughs> okay. When we we'll finish, are you listening? Ah, this is, uh, you know, this kind of more reminds me, it just takes me back to those days. Oh, we get it today, today, tomorrow, no more. If I die today, I will die no more. Then the other one, solidarity forever. 
Aluta. Uh -huh. Fosa President. Get there. Why is it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Get here. Where is it? Okay. Okay. I think what we'll do is that, you know, for the launch of the uh, faculty, students, and whatever, we will give the FOSA president. I live here. I give him five million for all of you. I give you five million for all of you. Let us solution no 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 bole ye. Be like this. Solution no ya ye no ye bole ye. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh ya ye no ya keneli. Solution ya keneli. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Ya keneli. Thank you. Solution. May we step down for the cutting of the cake? Thank you, thank you for cutting of the cake. Thank you very much. Let's the cutting of the cake. Let us welcome Honorable Henry Mbato, member and ambassador out of assembly. Welcome. We also welcome Professor Chinere. Stella Okuna. Cutting of the cake, please. Music oracle. Led by the Vice Chancellor. Okay. His Excellency. <laughs> High Chief Sidaton Diobi. <laughs> Former Governor of Anambra State. Aha. Uh -huh. Former minister and Nene just fina Nene to join in the cutting of the cake, please. Solution. Cutting of the cake, please. Solution a bit of for the big Mr. Bito Bia, and you can leave the music in the morning. We want Professor Yu Nonyalo to come and guide the cutting of the cake. Professor Yu Nonyalo. Professor Yu Nonyalo. We are guide the cutting of the cake. Guide the cutting of the cake. Solution. You do get the music department. That micro Give away you know you the microphone. Who has the microphone there? Professor. To yeah. direct. Thank you very much. And you know what the music department. I brought my one here, no. Man, I found no dear. Solution. Look by your right. Now you go. I'm a bit so obvious. Your Excellencies. No. Uh, I, well, uh, Your Excellencies, uh, the former president of Malawi, Governor Anambra State, former Governor Anambra State, benefactor, Vice Chancellor Nambia Zikiwe University. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, please, we are about to cut the cake. We are about to cut the cake, and I think the best thing to do is to do it in honor of the man that we are all gathered here today, and that is Zeke of Africa. And I will suggest that we spell the name as Zeke Iwe, and then we cut the cake. And I, please, with all respect, ask your excellencies. The Vice Chancellor, Benefactor, please all of you, the Dean of Faculty, stretch your hands, please. So that while we spell A Z I K I W E Aziki Way. Zika of Africa. 
Solution Solution Merci à vous Hello. Award presentation. Thank you very much. An award of excellence as Chief Guest of Honor presented to His Excellency Professor Charles Chuku Masoludo at the 12th Zix Lecture Series of the Faculty of Social Sciences, Namda Zikiwe University, Oka. This day, the 16th of November, 2023. Congratulations, His Excellency, sir. Solution, 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 solution. solution. Yeah. 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 Um, hello. Yes. Um, this is uh, an award of excellence to our distinguished guest lecturer and presented to her, Her Excellency Dr. Joyce Hilda Banda at uh, the 12th Zik Lecture Series of the Faculty of Social Sciences in Namde Azikiwe University, Oka. Today, the 17th, 16th day of November 2023. Your Excellency, it's an honor to present this to you.
very much distinguished ladies and gentlemen thank you his excellency the governor of Anambra state professor Chukumacha Soludo thank you the former governor of Anambra state